That's why we need to encourage one another always. Every season and out of season. Every time we need to encourage one another. But today I want to speak about crowns. Crowns that are going to be received by Christians. But there is nothing that happens or in or in that happens in your life in vain. If the Lord numbers your hair, how much more? your life your journey what you need what you want he knows your need he knows your want that's our God there is a reward for anything that's why I always say when you encounter a trial or a attack or a temptation there is a reward there is a promotion for your life you cannot go without a food without a reward there is a reward for anything that's why the song says Count your blessings. Are not many. As in See the Lord. You must you must be able to see the Lord in your trials. And appreciate what He has done for you. Because if you are able to see everything that the Lord has done for you, it will be easy to overcome. Mm. And it will be easy to appreciate a person that always complains. That person is easily discouraged. But a person who appreciates appreciates. He is able to see God when he is doing even those minor things. He is able. Because he appreciates his eyes are open. David said, David said Lord, teach me to number my days. A person who is able to number his days is able to appreciate is able to redeem time doesn't want to waste any time because he has been taught wisdom when you are able to number your days. Everything has a reward. If you go without food, there is a reward for that. If you go without money, but you still praise the Lord, you don't complain. You know what complain does? It delays your process of being blessed when you complain a people who always complain they are always be delayed in receiving their blessings to reach your destiny takes longer than usual for the children of Israel it could have taken them less than 40 days to Rich Canaan. But because of their complaints, it took them the whole generation. Forty years. It took them forty 
years. That means for you to reach to the promised land. What the Lord has promised you and your children. If you complain. You won't enjoy it. But only your children will enjoy what you have heard God, from the Lord. You know people who came out of Egypt. Only to reach Canaan. Why? Because of their complaints. But you must enjoy tribulations. When tribulations and trial comes over your life, you must say, it is my pleasure, it is my joy. The Lord saw me worthy. Saw me worthy. So that these things will come to me so that he can promote me. Are you with me, church? When tough time comes your way, they don't give you a break. That means you are on a hurry to be blessed. The Lord weighs everything that comes to you. Do you know that? He doesn't allow any test or tribulation to be over you. He has given you power to overcome it. He has given you power to overcome it. Temptation only come to promote you. If we can have that attitude, we will endure tribulation. Anything that comes your way. I know it's difficult sometimes when a test and an examination is ahead of you. But when you have written and passed your exam, you rejoice. It must be so as Christians. But let's go and read from the book of Peter. Chapter 5. 1 Peter chapter 5. Chapter 5. 